and welcome everyone our heart here with part one of my new white tiger let's play total war three kingdoms big thanks to creative assembly for giving me early access so that i could start this let's play early for you guys i'll be releasing the series every tuesday thursday and saturday going forward so make sure you subscribe if you haven't done already and ring that bell notification so you don't miss any of the uploads of this series so i'm playing as yenbei ho the white tiger for this campaign he's the new free lc bandit warlord that everyone will get for free on the 19th of march when the new a world betrayed dlc launches Obviously, you don't need to buy the DLC to play as the White Tiger, but if you want to play on the 194 start position like I'm doing, then you will need to pick up the DLC as well. If you want to support the channel and get a great discount on the DLC, then feel free to check out the link to Games Planet that's in the description and pinned to the top of the comment section. To remember to use the coupon code BETRAY5 at the checkout to save a total of 19% off the DLC. So, let's take a look at the White Tiger and then we'll dive into the campaign. Starting situation is easy. He's a sentinel character. He has stalk ability and plus 5% replenishment faction-wide. Faction specialization, we've got the White Tiger Confederation, which increases for every ally or coalition member, and it decreases the research time for the bandit network research. Also reduces recruitment cost for non-bandit units. And obviously bandits have had a overhaul and rework, so there's lots of new stances, treaties, and things like that, and buildings that we'll be checking out over the course of this campaign. His playstyle focus is coalition building and tribal networks, and unique features, we've got the White Tiger Warriors, and the White Tiger Raiders. Also got the uh, Shan Yu Camp and Mercenary Treaties, which allows us to declare war on Mercenary Masters targets in return for earning extra money per turn and selling Conquered Land to the Mercenary Master for large sums. Also got noteworthy characters. We've got Yan Yu, the Tiger Cub, who is our heir. We're obviously playing this on a very hard, very hard difficulty on the Romance mode. So without further ado, let's begin. All sons are born in the shadow of their fathers. But the day will always come when they must stand alone and are faced with a choice. Do they follow the path put before them? Or take a different road? Long have you roamed here, Yen Bai Ho. You are famed across the land as a welcoming but fierce warrior. Yet change is coming to the south. My life and legacy seeps into these mountains and valleys. This is my home, and the home of all who have come to share my ideals. We have lived and fought and prospered together. The shang -Yi people too call this place home. You are kindred spirits and together your influence reaches far. You will need their aid, and more besides. For Swen Sir has declared his designs upon the south, and begins to march. Liu Yao stands between you, but he cannot last. If it is Liu Yu's lands he wants, then let him have them. But should he look any further, then I will not suffer him to advance. I am the White Tiger, and these are my hunting grounds. My roar shall shatter the resolve of any foolish enough to enter my domain. The White Tiger rises. Establish your power. Even here, far from the capital, chaos is spreading, Yambaiho. 
Your lands are threatened by ambitious warlords. Their greed cannot go unpunished. Those who call the South home and others around the land sympathetic to your cause must now rally to defend a way of life in danger of vanishing forever. First mission, the tiger claims his land. We must have land if we are to grow our forces and create a frontier from which we can push back against interlopers. Real power lies in the commanderies, but you must start gradually. Capture a county and build from that foundation. Commanderies will be yours in time. So our objective is to take the weapon craftsman at Po Yang, also a yellow turban army which we'll have to go through first. Uh, reward on success, for three turns we get support from the people, plus five public order and plus 25 faction support, faction wide. Good, good. Let's just turn off the uh, map pins. And there he is, the white tiger himself, Yan Bai Ho. Let's have a quick look at his uh, items. The white tiger's claws, very nice. His armor as well. It gives stalk to his own retinue. Good, good. He's got a white stallion. And he's also got a bow. Nice. Uh, and I think that ties into his abilities. Yeah, he's got poison volley. Precision, ruthlessness. Enables poison arrows for own retinue. Okay, interesting. And range damage for oh, the whole army. Nice, plus 10%. Patience. Also got unpredictability. Guerrilla deployment for own retinue as well. And minus two morale enemy armies in local county. Also got uh, Stalker. Oh, very nice. And Tactical Withdrawal. Awesome. So speed and melee evasion at the cost of uh, melee attack to get him out of there. Sweet. That looks awesome. Can't wait to see him in action. What follows have we got? We've got a Taoist Monk. And we've got a Builder. Uh, let's give him the Taoist Monk for that extra plus two public order faction. Why? Because he's our faction leader. And then let's take a look at the other character we've got here. Yan Yu, the tiger cub, who is also our heir. Nice. Uh, he's just got a regular spear. Oh, let's upgrade him to the family spear. Nice. Got his armor as well. Melee evasion, extra speed. Brown horse, no upgrade for that just yet. Uh, won't give him the builder just because it'll probably be better to give to someone that we place in as an administrator. We'll do that in a bit, though. Uh, what have we got here? We've got a wooden fish. Composite bow and a stone pick. I think I'll give him a bow as well for now. At least until we get another character and then probably give him the wooden fish for extra resolve. Good. Good. So what units have we got? You tribesmen, bandit gang, or tribesmen. Then we've got you remnant warriors and bandit warriors. Cool. So yeah, we'll dive on in and fight against the Yellow Turban Rebellion. In fact, that's going to bring out the garrison from the weapons craftsmen, surely. Okay, so that'll be a, a medium-sized battle to kick things off today. Good. We'll just go through our faction mechanics first. And then, yeah, we'll dive into action. Oh, we've got a heavenly sword. Cool. Uh, so we've got the White Tiger Confederation, uh, which at its various tiers, starting off at the White Tiger Bond, gives us uh, a cost reduction for all of our research across the four uh, different research groups, which we'll take a look at in a minute when we take a look at the Bandit Network. Uh, which is our tech tree for bandits. So we've got, yeah, reduction for outlaws and outcasts, clandestine and corrupt, faith and folly, tribes and tradition. There's also a recruitment cost reduction for all non-bandit units, minus four. Then that increases as you uh, go up through the White Tiger Confederation. So the White Tiger Accord, White Tiger Union, and then all the way up to White Tiger Empire. And that increases as we enter into coalitions and alliances. So we'll definitely look to try and get some alliances and uh, coalitions where possible to increase that. A bit look at the bandit network. So this is our, our tech tree for bandits and all bandits now have this because uh, there was an overhaul uh, in the patch for them. Let's have a little hover over the bandit network to find out what it's all about. The bandit network allows bandit factions to acquire bonuses and a variety of new units that will help shape their military and economic success throughout a campaign. Each node represents a group based within the associated province. Establishing a connection to one of these groups takes time and requires that you already have a connection to an adjacent group. If you own one of the regions in the associated province, you'll be able to expand your local bandit network more quickly. There are four major groups further subdivided by the five elements. So yeah, outcasts and outlaws, that's all about um, banditry income and uh, reducing recruitment costs. Clandestine and corrupt, that's all about uh, improving administrative capabilities and income from traditional sources so peasantry commerce and industry uh, also gives us some elite units as well tribes and tradition uh, that's about improving military effectiveness and looting capabilities good good and then finally faith and folly that's all about oh, that, that kind of yeah get some stuff from the yellow term rebellion uh, so we can get so that deals with um, corruption and characters that will probably boost satisfaction 
And I think that, yeah, that gives us access to a couple of yellow turbine units as well, if I'm not mistaken. So let's close that tooltip away. So yeah, we can see the research that we've already got all around here because we've got adjacent provinces. And then here at Shindu, because we hold the large town and the lumber yard, we get a plus 200% research rate to the technology in the uh, in the province, which is the White Tiger Balance, which we've already researched, but it's good to know future um, technologies that we might want to go for. Just having a look around, which one do we want to go for first? I guess we're going to probably go south. I'll have a quick look at diplomacy first before we dive into that battle, just to gather our bearings, work out where we want to go, but that one looks good. Outcasts of Dragon Rock, minus 10% upkeep for spear infantry and plus 5% income from banditry. So let's go for that. We won't be able to boost it, but it's only going to take four turns anyway. Cool. Cool. Uh, let's have a quick look at our court as well. Oh, and underlings. That, that's administrators. I won't do just that. I'll do the, the battle first, I think. Maybe let's have a quick look at diplomacy. Obviously, we've got mercenary contracts that we can now use as well. So, yeah, we're at war with the Yellow Turban Rebellion. They're over here. So, yeah, we'll be going sort of, yeah, south, southeast to start with. Let's have a quick look at the quick deal stuff. Trade agreement, uh, Leo Yao. I think he's the best yeah, trade agreement at the moment. He's got the most territory over here. So we use him to hold our western flank for now. We'll probably go after these guys. Uh, Wang Lang's down here. So yeah, let's go for a, a trade deal. Uh, oh, we can receive marriage. Oh yeah, they... Hang on a minute. Let's have a quick little look at my family tree. Ah oh, yeah, neither of these guys are married yet. Okay. I wonder if we can do a marriage... Uh, in fact, actually, let's just go to negotiate. Let's do trade agreement. Receive marriage. My faction leader making some babies. You have Pingmin. Assuming you are related to family. That's going to get on well. She's 21. He's 28. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a good match. Not so happy about it. Um, guessing we can't do a coalition just yet. Not yet. Okay, but I think a marriage might actually help. Opinion of this idea. Character worth. Oh, it's worth quite a bit. Um, I wonder if I've got... Non-aggression. Oh, non-aggression's good. Yeah, throw in the non-aggression. Let's track this as well. No, non-aggression's definitely better. We'll do that for now then. Can't get the coalition. Um, Must have an ancillary I can throw. Heavenly sword. Don't want to give, get rid of that. That's worth a decent bit. Uh, the stone pig or the wooden fish? Uh, wooden fish. That's, that should be enough. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, let, let, let's let's uh, let's marry off the white tiger. Why not? And then send him into battle. We want to secure the as they fight side by side. White tiger dynasty. So, what was your ah? It was, oh, it was um. She was the eldest daughter. Yo Yao. Nice. So yes, hopefully he likes us because we've got a family member marriage going on. Got loads of boys coming. Okay. Cool. So yeah. Make uh, many babies. Right. We'll do spies and everything else in a little bit. But I think it's uh, high time. We began our conquest. It's a Pyrrhic victory. Really? 1,682 against their 1,801. I mean, I think we're going to slaughter them with the, the white tiger and the tiger cub. Let's do it. Obviously, I'm using the Chinese voiceover for the characters. I just edited the uh, English one in for the sort of campaign map flyover at the start, just so we can understand the sort of starting situation and all that. But yeah, I just find the, the Chinese voiceover uh, more immersive. So that's why I tend to use it for all my campaigns. So we've got all my spears. They've got cavalry, actually, haven't they? So we'll do two over here and we'll have the other one hidden there now you guys have all got uh, vanguard deployment take a look at these units in a minute as well i think we'll just have all of you guys there 
Mending. Oh, we can heal as well. Nice. 2.2k heal amount. I mean, it's, it's not a crazy amount. It's not like yellow turban crazy heal amount. But armor and melee evasion. That's good for, for dueling. And you've got your poison volley. But you've both got bows. So I might just ride out with you guys and harass them. Draw them to us. So let's have a little quick look down the line at our various units. You remnant warriors. They've got Stalk as well, so it can move whilst in any terrain. Oh, yeah, because yeah, his own retinue, isn't it? So we can set up some ambushes and what have you. Very useful. I haven't even checked out their stances yet, actually, on the campaign map, because I know they've got they've got loot as a mechanic as well. There's, there's so much with bandits now. I mean, I wanted to do a bandit campaign for ages, so this being a new character added in uh, alongside the well-betrayed DLC was just perfect timing. So I've, I've wanted to, to revisit 3k but I wanted to do a, a bandit let's play I was originally going to do bandit queen hopefully we can um, we can capture her as such collect that bandit queen pokemon Get the bandit king as well the faction of bandits well, he is he is lightning fast friend and close relative nice 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 go and harass take you guys off uh, off melee mode should probably have a closer look at these guys, actually. They're battle models. White Tiger with his White Tiger pelt over his shoulder. It's awesome. And then you've got the family spear. Also, that is a... That's a killer moustache beard thing. Don't know quite what it's called, but that's awesome. Love it. Take out Yao Feng. Obviously, pronunciation suggestions, do feel free to help me out. Because there's a very high chance that I've already butchered some names somewhere. Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, accept. Do the duel. Meanwhile, let's see if we can do some poison volleys. Nice. Win before one minute five. Okay. The pop is mending soon. Don't wait too long for that. Keep him close as well so he gets his bonuses. We've got strength of the land. Some extra armor at the moment. What's his health looking like? I was at 45, 44k Yan Yu versus 33. Don't think we're going to quite win this in the time that we've got there. Do some mending. Oh, wow. We've already broken the peasant archers. Oh, the poison volley. Oh, and it does damage over time as well. Nice. Obviously, it's poison, but that's that's great. That is awesome. All right, let's fire into all these guys. Poison volley away. Cavalry's coming. Yeah, I think pull back. You'll be fine. You're going to kill him soon. Bring him down. Yeah. Poison Volley early on is just going to absolutely wreck Yellow Turban forces. And do his mending again soon. There we go. Not going to be long now. Finish him. Tiger Cub. Oh, yeah, through the face. <laughs> Smack them dead. Oh, boom. Nice.
Oh, we can cast it on other characters as well. Nice. Get back on your horse if you can. I don't think you can quite take them all on. Yeah, back on your horse. Then pull them to... First of all, he's super fast as well. He has his armor. But actually, just dodge these guys really quickly because they're looking like they're going to break. Boom. Yep. Now, pull back and see if that draws the rest of them in. Because their fours have got absolutely slaughtered. Love it. Awesome. Well done, my mighty tiger cub. In fact, I might throw you guys into that cavalry. Don't have any missile troops. You guys are hidden at the moment. White tiger's claws at the ready. Alright, fast forward, wait for them to head towards us. Move out and across to protect my infantry. In you go, stop these guys. Spears, go, go, go. I get Yen Bai Ho out of there to do a poison volley. Here we go. Nice. That should finish them. Beautiful. And down they go. Victory! Triple speed it a little bit. I'm not sure if we'll need to fight these guys again as we go into the weapons craftsman. Smashing start for the White Tiger. Love it. That's all you want. 248 and 74. Nice. Loving that poison volley. Oh, swords in and dead. Got 593 remaining of the garrison. Oh, and the little army. We actually captured him. Oh, cool. Um, nothing of value. You know what? Yes, he'll probably come back to face us, but let's just release him for a teeny tiny bit of extra income. Um, replenishment. No, that's fine. Let's take loot because uh, I need to check what that does. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Right, so loot, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's instead of military supplies. So, yeah, it, the more loot you carry, the less your army can move. So we have a, a minus 10% campaign ma uh, campaign movement range, which makes sense because obviously the men are busy hauling lots of lots of treasure that they've looted. That's cool. But I think when you, when you get low on loot, it also gives us prestige, but when you get low on loot, I think it increases their fighting effectiveness because they're sort of desperate to get some spoils. Uh, of war and then we have another stance don't we here sharing the spoils which we can't initiate battles in this stance so i guess we're yeah we can we, can we move in that stance maybe um plus 20 reserves plus 200 percent food from banditry plus 200 percent income from banditry uh minus 45 of our loot okay and plus 25 percent replenishment wow that's really good for yeah quickly building back up again and replenishing raiding that gets us loot. And um, minus 18 public order. That, that's good, yeah. Nice. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, definitely switching between lots of different stances for bandits is going to be key. An earth dragon. Nice. So yeah, they've uh, they've tweaked as well. This isn't just for the bandits, but they've tweaked the whole uh, title system in the game. So you now assign uh, titles to characters um, rather than 
kind of paying to promote them. You give them a title and that sort of promotes them up and gives them, as you can see, extra satisfaction. So that's good. He's he's fairly satisfied. But let's see. What's that Earth Dragon one do? Immune to scaring. Reduce penalty from desire for higher office. Plus 15 authority. I mean, authority is not really that important for you. So I probably won't give you Earth Dragon. Uh, wow, it's not that extra 400 character salary. General of the left. Well, there we go. That's what you want to give him because that's extra resolve, which is his uh, his key um, key skill as such. Um, is there anything else we can give? We also got general of the right. That's retinue upkeep. Oh wow! I give you that general of the left. That gives you that bit there. Cool. So obviously only one can have that. There's loads of different bits here, and you unlock them. Conquer five regions, North Yellow River, Lords of the Elements. Win a battle where sixty percent. Or more of your army consists of ranged units. <laughs> nice. That's really cool. Yeah, this is this is really nice. Little RPG elements like this that they're they're slowly but surely adding in. Something I really like that the sort of the direction for Total War is going. I toggle off those map pins. Um, right, let's go in and take the weapons craftsman. Probably, yeah, order resolve that. Delegate. Boom. Uh, second withdrawal, definitely don't want to do that. Loot and occupy. Here's a loot. No, we'll just occupy this one. Support from the people. Huzzah! Completed. First mission. Our next one. Ebaiho nurtures his people. A strong realm is built upon strong foundations, buildings, and establishments to foster and occupy and employ the people. They will then, in turn, give back to society, obey you, and fight for you. So let the timbers rise and victory with them. Construct or upgrade a building in Jindu, a large town. And our reward is your economy grows. Minus 20% construction cost faction wide and minus one construction time for three turns. Awesome. So that's, yeah, the large town. Also, every minor settlement, we get an extra slot now to build a uh, a bandit building. What is it? What is it? Is it actually under its own separate thing? No, it's just one of these five. So our unique one is the Shan Yu camp, which gives us minus 1% cost of establishing tribes and tradition connections, plus three food production from banditry, and also gives us another Yu tribesman available to recruit. There's also uh, mustering grounds, which lowers public order in adjacent enemy commanderies, more replenishment, and redeployment cost reduction faction wide. Um, preparatory camp, Research rate, nice, and prestige. Food tents, public order, loot, and black market. I think that's probably the one I want to go for right now because it gives us plus 50% income from banditry and plus 50 banditry uh, income, which isn't bad. Um, what have we actually got in, in product workshops? That's all industry and what have you. Bandit camp, bamboo. Tribute hall, what's that do? Plus 10% tribute in diplomacy and income from mercenary treaties. Oh, cool. Yeah, I forgot about mercenary treaties. And post-battle loot income. Administration office. Oh, that gives corruption. But diplomacy... Oh, that's quite useful. Yeah, diplomacy boost. Lost prestige. Military forges. From industry. And then bandits. What have we got here? Banditry income. So, yeah, we will want to get that in there as well to, to tie in with that. I think, yeah, black market for now. More income early on. Uh, and we need, to, we need to build something there, don't we? Um, or the mission, though will I be able to? Might need to be at a higher level. Uh, let's let's force it through. What can we get? We can get the inn. Oh, we can get yeah, bandit. Uh, minus two public order. A public order right now is plus two, so that would keep it where it is. Uh, let's just check what's the public order building. Is it the administration office? Nope. That one give. Grain storage gives public order. And didn't we have one here that was also public order? Yeah, that one. Food tents. Um, let's let's maximize this banditry income though. Oh no, that's that's the oh, that's enemy ones. It's not my own ones. Oh cool. So yeah, it has a, doesn't have a, an effect on me. Oh cool. Yeah. Don't even need to worry about public order then. Great. Right, that'll do the economy thing. Next turn. Good. Um, I'm guessing we can't do any... Coalition might be possible, though. Uh, where's the... 
Oh, mercenary assistance. There are no valid target factions for us to offer. That'd be pretty cool. Who's he at war with? He's at war with Sun Sir. Or Sun Sir. I've always called them Sun. I'll probably keep going with that. Force of a habit. Uh, Wu Jing. Okay, what about just thinking, after we're done with the Yellow Tomb Rebellion, which is fairly substantial over here. Wang Lang, you don't have any friends right now. That's fine. Who's that? You're down here. I mean, we might keep going that way, so... Oh, hang on. You are... Ah, oh, you're a vassal of him. Um... Ooh, that's... That's quite nice and substantial at the moment. Always, could always break it. Can I get... Quest? No, I can't. Um... Got any cool ancillaries? I've got that sword I'm going to keep. Entry expert turtle. I don't think I'll, don't think I'll bother with that just yet. Don't do that just yet. Bide our time. He's he takes over from Dong, doesn't he? I believe. I think he's up here. Lead you. So yeah, we might be able to. You get a, you know, Yao rather, get a coalition there at some point. What you saw, actually, what, what, how do you feel about a military alliance? Oh, yeah, definitely not, but yeah, coalition's fine. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, yes, we need to do, well, we've got assignments actually as well. What can you do for me? You can do construction cost, construction time, and building upkeep. Income from industry, that's the, that's the wife. Uh, minus 10 loot. Enemy armies. I'm guessing also that would be supplies as well, right? Uh, mustering. Income peasantry. Commerce. I... Oh, we can also do... Yeah, appoint administrator. Which is an underling. Minus 20% corruption. Income from all sources. And plus 10%. Oh, adjacent. Oh, nice. Cool, cool, cool. I would cheat it. Oh, minus 16% construction cost. Okay, you're, you're definitely... Going in, doing that then. And then, you won't get on if I pop you in there. Um, we have zero income from... What was that? Peasantry income. There's a little bit of peasantry income. So, yeah, okay, yeah. Don't have any commerce, though. Sign you in there. And you can also do assignments in other factions territory now as well, which is pretty cool. And a spy. A spy, a spy, a spy. Oh, what's this? This faction contains a potential turncoat who's willing to spy for you. Hmm. Potential turncoat. Oh, you cost a fair bit. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, we, ha we are trying to be friendly with you. I feel like maybe we should pop someone into some sur, though. And Lynn, I don't want to put in my only available strategist at the moment. I think we might wait then. Just for now. And obviously what is out for going up to Bandit. Need 20 more prestige. And what is our goal? It's to become Emperor ourselves. Unite China by bringing all Emperor seats under your control and only 95 counties. Okie dokie. Cool. Right. End the turn. But yeah, kill yellow turbans, then probably kill off Wang Lang is the plan. There we go. Economy grows. The call is issued. The answer heard. Whilst you are a powerful warrior, you alone cannot hold back the tide. You must have other fighters prepared to battle for you. And with you, to that end, you must drive up recruitment, rally the loyal and the able to the cause, and press them into service. Uh, recruit maintain a total of 11 units at the start of a new turn. Current total, 9. And reward is growing might. Plus 50 bonus experience for units per season, faction-wide. And plus 10% replenishment. Cool. Oh, I totally didn't convert that over. Whoops. My bad. So we're going to want to head over and grab all of the uh, Yan'an commandery. So head up there and probably... Well, how's our loot actually doing? Oh, minus 24. Ooh, okay. 
Maybe we'll spend some. Spend some loot. Share the spoils. Next replenishment. That drops it down, which gives more movement. And then we need some more units. The White Tiger Warriors. They sound cool. Um, Archers. White Tiger Raiders. Yeah, they'd be, they might be actually useful to have because he has a uh, poison damage for range units as well. They're hybrid. But I don't have enough money to get all of them right now. Cavalry as well. Nice. Um, let's get, yeah, actually, no. Could swap out the bandit warriors for those guys. Maybe let's pop in another bandit gang. I'd really like to get those guys. Um, let's have a looky. Maybe I will do that non-aggression pack now. And just get some money off you. I can recruit those units this turn. I don't think that's enough, is it? No, I can get one. Yeah, I need a little bit more, so there must be someone else that wants. Military access. Here we go. Oh, I don't, you don't have military access. How much? Ooh, yeah, okay. You'd be probably willing to pay me a... In fact, actually, hang on. Coalition. Oh, that's super close to being able to get that with you. Uh, We've got a decent bit of food. What if I offer to trade you one food? Oh, that is, yeah, that's worth a decent bit to you. What if I said two food? Ah, oh, seriously? What was that for? For ten turns. We should be fine. That's a rice paddy anyway, so if we head towards that, we'll get enough food. Um, and then I just need to probably make a payment of 50. And we get a coalition. Yes, do it. Because that then takes us up to the White Tiger Bond. Oh, now it's triggered. Yeah, we've had enough units. Good. March of the Tiger. Territory is key to building a lasting world for your people. Yambai Ho. And so your task is simple. Claim more of it. Uh, you must march into battle, overcoming all defences and obstacles, and by doing so, spread your influence and your control across the land. Hold four settlements, including the following, and town. So yeah, we've got to go against the uh, blue turbans. Makes sense. We formed a coalition. So yeah, we now get a recruitment cost reduction. I should have I should have done that first before I started recruiting units. But now they only cost... Is that the same amount? No, a little bit. Oh, wait, no. Non-bandit units, right? Yeah. That's only non-bandit units. But cool, yeah. We've made, our, we've made our way through the first tier. The White Tiger Bond has begun. But yeah, I need I need some more money. Oh, wait. We, have we gone up enough? Are we at the next tier? Yes, we're a bandit now, so we can get more trade. Boom, boom, boom. Trade agreement. Let's go for Zukong, just because I'm planning on killing Wang. Chuck that in there. Also give me some money. Perfect. Love it. Good income now as well. Happy, happy days. I could keep going around throwing access. I could say we, I'm assuming we've already got, with a coalition, we've already got now military access. With Liu Yao. I can't do that still. Is he... Any wars? Targeting a vessel master. Have I got to be at war with them as well? Not quite sure. Maybe we just can't do it yet. Um, He would reject it. But it's growing. We could definitely turn that in. Yeah, let, why not? Why not? Um, Become vassal. Need your access. I mean, I've, I might as well because I formed a coalition with your master right now, so unlikely that I'm going to betray. But you're not going to be able to give me anything worthwhile. 
So actually, I'm not going to give you that for the moment. Put those guys in there. And could go for a peasant van. Don't think I will, though. Um, could, yeah, I was going to get a strategist in as well, wasn't I? But that this army will do for right now. So our replenishment rate's good. Sharing all that loot. Cool. What have we got over here? Caught. Oh, we've got a uh, incense master. Part of the faction council. Um, and tell me what that one will actually do. New salary, recruitment cost, faction. Oh, damn it. Uh, I mean, you're a vanguard. Oh, you're not very happy. He's willing to spy for me. Seeing as you are getting fairly unhappy, you're my only vanguard right now. Let's pop you in there. You get on with everyone as well, which is good. Should actually find... I need you to find someone. Seek a spouse. That's the... It will just generate a character, right? I feel like we should get the tiger cub. Alas as well. We should probably go through all the factions, see if anyone's got anyone. Might do that next episode. Oh yeah, Mr. Commandery. You need to have that one as well. Can't you have the Heavenly Sword? You can. Doesn't give you any expertise, but a decent bit of damage for the moment. And authority is public order, faction air, faction no. That's not unless you're in a higher position. Um no, we'll leave you with what you've got. We'll save that sword. Really? You're not you're not happy? I'm gonna have to give you a title as well then, aren't I? Um, Chief of Records. I thought, did that, did that not? Oh, no, it said it didn't give any satisfaction, did it? But no desire for higher office. Oh, wait, hang on. No, I can just give you a stone pig. There we go. I knew I had something. You had something lying around. Hopefully we'll start getting some weapons as well that I can then sell from the weapons craftsman. Good, good, good. Yang Feng's declared war on Li Ju. Exquisite weapon. Huzzah. What have we got? An imperial bow. Oh boy. What bow have you got? You've got a composite bow. The imperial bow is oh so much better. Oh boy. Nice. Like it. Kind of annoyingly, we can't complete the commandery, though, because you know, Yao's got the fishing port, but you never know, he might end up losing it. Right, so we've now, oh, we've now got actually extra campaign map movement range because we spent all of our loot. Let's move in for that lumber yard. Oh, hello, they've got an army there. Oh, we get to fight again. But you guys aren't going to replenish. Oh, and that gets replenishment, but I doubt in enemy territory. So... Go to normal stance. Oh, yeah, we can build that uh, Peiyang as well. Um, food production. Oh, yeah, let's get that in there because I've been uh, trading all mine away. And that, although, do I really need it? Lumber yard. Mine bantry and diplomacy. We should be fine. I mean, I could probably just go for that for even more income. Oh wait, that's that's not part of the same region, is it? No, that's true. Uh, oh, that does that hideout gives us in, income from banditry though. Oh, and it gives us extra uh, deployables. Cool. Well, that garrison's really good as well on the upgrade. Um, okay, in that case, I, I'm gonna risk it. Go for the black market. Let it build over a turn. Spies are thinking of Sun Sir rather than taking this guy. You're Central turncoat, you're rather expensive as well. Can send the strategist off. I think we'll just recruit this guy and you and send him off. So if I save my money next turn, plus we fight at that settlement, we should have enough. And they might come and attack me, actually. 
Quick knowledge, what am I doing? Again, it's your shoe. Majority of allies have already... Oh, they've already... What? They've already declined? Except... Okay. That's a bit pointless, surely, if it doesn't give me an option. Oh, they've run away. Cowards. Yeah, I request your aid. Oh, here we go. Bide your time or what declared between Yan Bai Ho and Sun Tzu. While well, the North has been ravaged by war, the South has been a haven for refugees, exiles, and those seeking to avoid the heavy hand of the Imperial Court. But this peace is now broken. You receive an emissary from the local Han representative, Liu Yao. He is currently under attack by the Yuan Shu's vassal, uh, Sun Tzu and seeks your aid. Liu Yao is a stern figure who has shown little tolerance for your less than legal ways. If he is asking you for help, he must be desperate. Yeah, I'm definitely going to join him. Got coalition anyway. Plus, he's given me plenty of money and financial support. So, yep. Look at that boost. Oh boy. So we need to finish this up quickly. And then we join in there. We're also... At war with you on shoe. Well, that's that's fine. Um, let's have a little chat because I think you might be. Yes, very open to making this a military alliance. And only I can't do anything else, but let's transition that. Can I offer mercenary assistance against you on shoe? Um. Don't know if that's... Where is Yuan Shu to start with, actually? Should probably check that. You'll be Yama. Can't actually see where he is. He, he must be this way, right? Do a mercenary treaty. I think I'll hold off on the mercenary treaty, just for now. Alliance formed, yeah. That was still set at the same level, though, right? And we're friends. That's nice. Got a clay cup. He's over here. Going after on Empire deserted territory, I guess. They got Taishi C. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Right, well, these yellow turbans have got a, a date with death. Here we go. Take the lumber yard. Oh, they reinforce. Really? Ooh, that's, that's a lot of them. Wow, okay. Um... Hmm... Might best to starve them out for a little bit. We don't have night battles or anything. I really need some more, some more units. It might be worthwhile actually raising another army over here with Pan Lin and bringing him over to support. Yeah, let's get him out. Pop him in there. And also get him some more units. We've got bandit hunters. Could go for Trebs as well. Oh, they're expensive. We can't afford to get both of them right now and then move. And Trebs are great. Cool, cool, cool. What's this? Villainy. I want to get along to that flaming shot. Ruthlessness. I'll use you. Poison arrow is good. Wisdom of the river. Caltrops. Wait. Oh, you can have. You could have the heavenly sword, I guess. Uh, and there's also a bow going free. Going spare. Any better robes? Nope. Also got to keep an eye on since uh, coming into attack. Yeah, we'll bring you guys over. They might attack us. I think we'll we'll try and fight and see if we can break them. We should be able to. These guys are pretty powerful. You've got all that in there. We need to upgrade that when we can. What is our garrison like here? Not bad. Not bad. Do we get um, 
that give us a garrison? No, we don't get a garrison. Oh, these guys, that gives garrison. Cool. I've already built that then. That is fine. Why did we lose my trade agreement with him? Why are you against the trade? Recently broken deals? What? I didn't... Oh, so that's, that's still in there. I'm kind of hoping they fix that. That's... Uh, was that when we transitioned? Or was that the other offer, offer that came through randomly that was like, accept that it's declined, but we've accepted or something? Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's frustrating. What about this clay cup? Can't really. I mean, I can make. I can give you the rest of my money for this turn. Not going to do much, is it? Though? Well, I've probably just got to wait for recently broken deals to disappear. Ah, uh, or or I get the trade agreement with Wang Lang. I feel like I might be kept busy for a little bit. I mean, it's not like we're desperate for money just yet. Let's let's leave it a little bit. See if we can get that reestablished with him. I imagine we're going to get yellow turbaned. Slow start of the campaign, but always is with the first episode. That's why it's going to be an hour long. Yeah, they're attack. Oh, what? They're just attacking with the garrison. They moved the arm other army away. You fools. <laughs> the white tiger seeks more blood. So we shall fight. Yeah, always, always a slow start, especially when we're dealing like with a brand new faction for me at least with the bandits and they've had they've been overhauled with all their faction mechanics but yeah hopefully you guys are enjoying this first episode a lot of trees on this map thankfully we can maximize bandit sneakiness with our vanguard deployment with our melee infantry up here our spears don't have it so we'll have to bring them up but not gonna be completely vulnerable to the enemy cavalry because the White Tiger Raider archers are also hybrid spears as well. They can sit up here and defend my infantry. Shuffle them over a little bit. Pop all of you guys over there, right in the trees. Bring up the White Tiger himself, Yan Bai Ho. Oh, hello, what's that? Poison shot. Nice. Minus 50% speed, minus 25% charge speed, minus 25% uh, melee damage base, and minus 50% melee evasion. And 22 damage over 15 seconds. Definitely go for that. Good. Right. We'll bring all of you guys up straight away. Yeah, they've got their cavalry there. We can do a volley. Poison shot. Getting all clipped by the trees. Send him in. Send you off the enemy cavalry over there just to hold him up until my spears get in place. He can help out. Actually, if they're all bunched up there, let's just send the infantry forward. Let's go for it. Let's keep on firing. Oh, nice, broken that cavalry already. Probably rally and come back though, so we'll bring spears up to cover. Charge, bandits, charge! I'm going to bring him out because it would be perfect to do a volley across here now. <laughs> There's the victory. Wow, that was nice and fast. Let's kill off as many of them as we can. Let's 
would be much easier for us to take the settlement. When it comes back to our turn. Still confused as to why that army... I guess it must have moved away. I thought it was still in the same position. I don't know why it didn't... Reinforce this battle. Confusing. Kill them all. There are a few that's managed to escape, but there'll be very little of that garrison left. We can take it, and then we'll need to go and hunt down wherever that army's gone. I guess maybe it was pulling back to another territory, and that's where it's moved off till. Nice. I've got 165 remaining. We lost 47. Absolutely smashed them. Uh, we'll go for ransom, thanks. It's over there. It looks like it's in the same... It is in the same spot. Why did you guys not... Because you're reinforcing now. So why didn't they reinforce during that end turn? No idea. Okay, well... Ah, it's close to be. Let's bring. I think we can bring our archers over. Our trebs. Let's just force march them. And then we can go in. Very victory. Yeah, that's fine. It's a lumber camp, isn't it? Yeah, that's fine. In we go. Right, so where are they coming from? They're coming from over on the left. My reinforcement's there. So we could we just try and pile into the settlement and then use the choke points by the towers to break the reinforcements. So we've got Vanguard on you guys. So let's send you guys in to go for these two towers. You can run in with the White Tiger. And then send you in over here. Again, you. Uh, archers will keep you guys back because we don't want to get yeah, too many casualties from the towers just yet. Have they, have they tweaked the towers again in this patch? Or is it still... Are they still roughly what they were like before? I can't remember the last time. Mandate of Heaven. There we go. They've not even got anyone over there. Okay. Move into the trees then. Sat in, sat in the capture point. Let's just rush it. Might take a while to get the trebs in, though. I mean, I guess it depends where they move to. If they move to go in, we'll just have to grab the choke points. But if not, they might be able to draw them out here, actually. We'll aim for that to start with. Quickly do a volley. Quick, 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 quick. Hit that cavalry. Quick, 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 quick. Faster. Yes. Oh, straight through. Nice. Right, you've captured that. Swing on round. Take him out. Guys. Uh, I don't actually know where they're coming from. I can't see them. Let's scout them out. Go grab these. Yeah, let's form off over here for now. Krebs are very slowly moving. Assemble outside for now. over there and capture that one, actually. Yeah. Give him the mending. Probably need to duel some of the 
enemy generals. That's all right, we've broken all of them. What happens if we capture that? Just provides a morale bonus to the defender. Could go for it, but... Let's have the axes. Okay, yeah, so they're all up here. That's fine. So those trebs are definitely just going to have to go here. They're definitely not going to get round in time. Maybe have these guys here and then pounce out from the forest. Can we duel any of them? Out of range to get closer. Pull some of them in. But yeah, bring him up so that we can use the poison arrows across all of them. Yep, let's take that duel. So it begins. Setup's looking like it's going to go fairly well out here. Are we covered by that tower? I can I see its range properly? Oh, it should, should cover us. Uh, decline for now. I'm trying to do poison volleys. But it's not going off yet. There we go. Try that. There we go. Setting up now. Poison volley. Away! Right down that line. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, now we'll take the jewel. You're doing fine over there. A little bit weak over here, but you should be able to do another mending soon. What's that? Ooh, armor. Nice. Archers. Go for the peasant archers. Yeah, they've not seen my axes here, so let's bring them up from behind. Sneaky, sneaky. Trebs away. Let's move the archers up, up to the left flank. How are you doing, Tiger Cub? Finish him. Oh, caught it. Nice. Oh, you've just finished him off. Oh, no, he's down. <laughs> nice. Tiger Cup victorious. Sorry I missed those uh, kills. Um, Yeah, go on then. Have another duel. We'll make sure we... Tune in to see. Oh, I thought it was him then. No, got confused. Okay. Heal yourself. Keep going. Trebs. Focus on that one. Another poison volley. That one, you guys get in round here. That attack order. Okay, Trebs. Stop firing. 
准备就绪。兵在此。Smash him。准备就绪。Oh, did both of them then? Is it an, is it an area effect one? Oh, yeah. Oh, it requires a target, but does. Huh. Nice. Yeah, come on. Skewer her. Oh, right in the face. Oh, and ripped her head off. Boom. Solid stuff. GG. Decisive victory in the lumber camp is mine. Victory for the white tiger. Thanks for the loot. Oh, captured you, eh? Uh, yeah, we definitely execute you. And mine. Thank you. Would be assassin. Establishing your control in the newly occupied town, one of your officials is set upon by a particularly burly local. The attacker is a bona fide warrior, but the targeted official is also an ex soldier, aptly skilled in combat himself. After a spectacular duel, the assailant is eventually subdued and detained. Nice. Well done, Tiger Cub. Right. Well, that is where we're going to wrap things up for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed part one of my White Tiger Let's Play, Total War Three Kingdoms. Until the next one, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, take Prime on the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet and Overclockers UK. Till the next one, ciao for now.